Hey guys, it's Jenny. Alrighty, your order has arrived. Now, last week I asked you guys to choose the orchids you want me to order, and you guys chose them, and I ordered them. And today, we are going to unpack them. So, if you choosing my orchid sounds appealing to you, make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will order again in the future whatever orchid you choose. So, today, as you can see, I have two boxes. The nursery didn't have big enough boxes, so they sent two, but I only paid for one, so that's great. I didn't open them, and I'm not entirely sure how to do this, if I should edit the video so that I open them in order. I think I'm just gonna take them as they are, and I I'm really, really curious to see what's in that box because it's very colorful. So let's get you guys a little closer and take a peek. So let's dive in. Well, this is a lot of sponge. If I ever need some sponges for the shower, I uh, have a lot of them. So where do I put these? Okay, this is absurd. Where do I put these? That should have to do for now. Okay, I already see one. So one of the orchids you had to choose from was an Aridus, a Vendacious Orchid. So you had to choose from the Aridus Lorenziana and the Aridus Huleshiana. And well, the ratio was kind of overwhelming. Whoa, we have a flower spike. The ratio was very much in the favor of Aridus Huleshiana. Yay! Uh, I didn't know it, but I was so happy <laughs> that you guys chose the Huleshiana. I think that was the one I would have chosen as well. And it has a flower spike and hopefully it will still develop. It used to have one here as well, but it looks like it's an older flower spike. Definitely this is a mature orchid and it looks quite okay. I'm gonna put this one in a bucket of water just to let it hydrate and we're gonna continue with the unboxing. So it would appear that in that box we only have the Felesiana, which means the rest of the orchids, seven of them are in here. Okay, take a look at this. <laughs> That's funny. I think I need a scissors. Okay, the next orchid already has the tag. So this is one that I chose for myself. It's something that I really want for many years, but I've never seen it for sale. It's one of those, you see it on the internet, you just know you're not gonna find it anytime soon and you keep dreaming about it and finally I got it. Did you see the picture yet? <laughs> yeah, let's unpack this orchid, see how she is. It's a cat Leia, of course, but it has those really beautiful rays, yellow rays. I think my favorite contrast of all is the yellow, the golden yellow and white. The yellow, golden yellow, white absolutely kills me. Reason why I want the Pulcherima. Okay, okay, this looks nice. Oh, this looks nice, you guys. Um, I don't know about the tag being on the outside, because now it's gonna be all sticky due to this scotch tape. But what to do? Oh yeah, <laughs> so sticky. Eh, never mind. So here we have my happy holiday. Isn't that name just great? I'll just get behind the camera because I'm sure you're not focused. Um, so here she is. She looks so, so pretty. I cannot believe how pretty she is. I don't see that she's ever bloomed. Oh, but I have growths. <laughs> I just see them. I'm sorry, I'm really excited about this one. I have one, two, and another small one here. Three growths on this one. Oh, so excited, so excited. This one I think makes the whole package for me. Oh, oopsie, okay, let's not cut the orchid. Alrighty. Oh, this one has flower spikes, oh my goodness, what is this? All right, so you guys had to choose an orchid at random, whatever orchid you wanted from the website, except Mastvalias and Draculas. And there was a whole lot of suggestions there that I actually ended up purchasing myself because I like them. But the one that I chose at random is something that I bought a long time ago from Schrader, but it turned out to be um, infected with a virus. It never did great. I did the test. It was virus. I had to give her up because all of the growth would just melt away. This is the Encyclia Serena O'Neill, you guys. Thank you so much for suggesting this one. It makes me so happy and it makes me even happier. The fact that it has a butt. And here she is. I filmed as I unpacked her, but of course the camera was not in focus. I'm not prepared. I need a cameraman actually, or a camera woman. Now, the whole point of doing this pick my orchid is to push me to try out either something new, either things that I always say I'm gonna buy, but I never do because I see something shiny, aka cat Leo or a, a species Phalaenopsis or something. 
So I thought the best way to do it is if I force myself to do it. So uh, yeah, Serena O'Neill, I always wanted it, you guys. I just never got it just because, I don't know. But I'm really happy, thank you so much for choosing it. I was nervous because there were some orchids there that really I knew nothing about. At least the Serena O'Neill is a warm grower, so I'm sure she will do okay in my climate. And she came with buds. So three down, five more to go. I'm so, so happy with them so far. Alrighty, so the second orchid you guys had to choose from was a Phalaenopsis. It was a novelty type, a hybrid. So I asked you guys to help me choose between the Dragon Tree Eagle and the Dragon Tree Eagle crossed with something else. I forgot what. It was a yellow version and then a reddish type of version. And you guys chose Tan -tan Phalaenopsis Dragon Tree Eagle. And if I'm not mistaken, the ratio was pretty high in favor of this one. So that's what I bought. Let's see how she looks like. If I'm not mistaken, these ones were not completely mature. They were near flowering size, young orchids, something of the sort. So I'm not expecting flower spikes with these guys. Just to let you guys know. Uh, but wow. Oh, I have a new leaf on this one. And behold, I think I was actually in frame for all of this. So here she is. We are growing a new leaf at the top, which is nice. And as you can see, she's She's pretty tiny, but these orchids can actually bloom at smaller size. So I'm thinking maybe another leaf and then she's gonna bloom. I think it's pretty accurate near flowering size. These types of orchids don't need to get monster like looking like to flower. So this should be the one with the reddish, orangish type of flower. And somebody pointed out something, hybrids don't usually look all the same. You can get a hybrid with more yellow, but another hybrid of the very same cross with more red, let's say. So the reason why they chose this one, not the cross of this one with the other one, such elevated vocabulary, Danny, was because I could have bad surprises and I guess that's true I didn't necessarily think of it that way but thank you guys for helping me choose I'm happy to have this one and let's uh, continue alrighty next orchid has a flower dried up at the bottom but it's not a flower I recognize so I don't think there's anything in bloom here I don't know but anyway this one is Aranthus grandiflora and in the hopes that everything is in focus, I chose this one because somebody actually spoke so, so highly about this one and I just had to have it. The description of the fragrance was wonderful and this was your pick. If I would have randomly picked you, I would have been obligated to purchase this orchid, but I still purchased it simply because that's the whole purpose of this suggestion and choosing my orchids, learning about new orchids through you guys and pretty much forcing me to try out something new. I'm that type of person who needs pressure, who needs to be forced, who needs to be a little stressed to do something. Uh, that sounds like I don't work. No, I'm a workaholic actually. No, what I mean to say is that I make better decisions or I work better under stress, under a little bit of stress, not much, just a little bit. So thank you so much. I don't regret it. I'm happy to have this one and I cannot say I know much about it. My viewer is actually very active um, subscriber of mine who's been with me for quite a long time I think so I trust you so here she is the little darling I can hear her scream repot me because look at this it's the flimsy type of pot but it's okay do you think it looks nice I don't have experience with this orchid but I think it's nice I have a cakey here I did read about this orchid that it produces cakeys I'm completely sold on this orchid I want to sense that buttery fragrance so there we go this has been the aranthus grandiflora yep there was another one and i almost purchased the other one i think it looks good i think it is blooming size but it's a young orchid never bloomed before looking in very good shape actually all of these orchids look great in this order you know what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna title this video chatty unboxing you know that trend in the beauty community chatty get ready with me something of the sort well why not capitalize on the trend and the keyword right uh, no, seriously now. You guys already know me, I chat a lot, but there are always new people and some are actually a little shocked about how much I talk, so might as well advertise it in the title. So if you don't want to watch chatty stuff, you can just read the title, skip the video, I don't mind. Well, spoiler, I purchased another Renatera Monahika hybrid, the Mildred Jameson. It has a flower spike full of flowers. It ain't looking pretty. <laughs> Duh, of course it's not looking pretty. What do you expect? It's me who you're talking about here. But anyway, we'll get to her. 
So the third orchid I wanted you guys to help me choose was a Cattleya. You had to choose between the Spanish Eyes and another one that I forget the name of. Well, it turns out everybody wanted me to get the Spanish Eyes. It's out of stock. When I went to purchase it, it was out of stock. So I had to purchase automatically the other one. The uh, popular choice was the Spanish Eyes. I had to get the Village Chief Rose. But I'm not sorry, she's really, really pretty as well. Now let me give you a wider shot of this. It looks like a lamp. <gasps> oh, I almost cut a new growth. Oh, let's not play with the scissors. This is her. Wow, she looks so, so beautiful. So we have two new growths here, one here and one here. And this is a spectacular orchid, you guys. She's grown in moss, which is a uh, Quite nice, I'm okay with moss. And for the price that I paid for her, it's quite all right. This is not a cheap, cheap orchid, not a cheap Cattleya. These Cattleyas are a little bit more expensive, but I figured, you know, it's that type of hybrid with the fluffy flower, maybe very fragrant. I am very happy with what I got. And again, I lost the tag. Oh, it's here. I didn't lose it. Okay, I literally have no idea what this is. I don't know what I ordered here. I don't remember. I remember now. <laughs> oh, it has buds. Oh, so cute. So this is a Dendrobium Nestor. The thing is, I always wanted an Anosmum or an Anosmum hybrid, or actually the Dendrobium Nestor ever since I was watching Saniti's video. And if you know her, you know she has a Nestor for the longest time. And I always wanted to have one of those. The problem is my Anosmum is a cross with a Cretaceum. I'm not happy with it. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. I have a Parishi, which bloomed beautifully last year, but I just didn't include it in the competition and stuff because I just ordered it. It's full of buds right now. It's gonna be a beautiful show. I love the Parishi. So I can actually provide the good culture for these guys. It's just the Anosmum, which it might have issues, my Anosmum. So I always wanted to get another Anosmum or the Dendrobium Nestor. And I, I saw the Nestor and I got it. And this is him and all of these kikis will be removed and that's that. But you can see this orchid did not receive a proper winter rest. That's okay, it is to be expected, I believe. Um, but I do have two little buds here, so I'm happy about them. And the next store was, get this, nine euros. <laughs> this is a good price for this guy, that's why I got him. It was a non-planned purchase, but nine euros, hey. Do you wanna see what I see? Let me get you in closer. That is nerve wracking. I know, I just know it's not gonna be okay. It's not gonna look okay, the flower spike will be broken, I know, but I shall humor you. I just knew they wouldn't last. Anyway, so there we go. Renanthopsis Mildred Jameson with her beautiful Renanthera monahica-like blooms. This is a cross between a Phalaenopsis and a Renanthera. And uh, well, people here on YouTube say it might be a little bit finicky, and it might actually be, but she's so beautiful, I just had to get her. I'm thinking Renantheras, they do okay. Phalaenopsis, they do okay. The hybrid should do okay as well, right? Doesn't work like that, but here we go. I had to purchase it and that's the last orchid in my order. So this has been my order minus the Vanda, which is still soaking. I'm so happy with it, very impressed. Even though, um, you know, the flowers don't fare well usually on transport, even though a bud might fall, a flower spike might break, that's typical stuff that always happens. And I said it before, only Schroeder packs their orchids how you should pack them. I've never seen anybody pack orchids like Schroeder or better than Schroeder, so I'm not mad with that. And the orchids actually, they're in very, very good shape, at least at a first impression. I'm really, really happy with them and excited about the buds of this Serena O'Neill. So let me know you guys if you enjoyed this idea of letting you pick at least some orchids from me. It was very exciting and a little scary for me too. And yeah, I liked the adrenaline. So let me know if you wanna do this in the future with other orders as well. Other than that, let me know what you think about the chatty unboxings. So with that said, let's end it here because it's lunchtime and I need to go and have lunch with my boyfriend. <laughs> so you know the drill, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel for regular orchid videos and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And with that said, I'll see you all next time. Bye.